Congressman Quigley, it's been a busy day for you. Got your press release uh, early this afternoon about your support for Nancy Pelosi kicking uh, Jim Banks and Jim Jordan off the committee. Look, if you're not going to take this seriously, you shouldn't serve. And uh, one of the two people who was kicked off had said he was going to sabotage the process. You know, uh, I was a guy in the room where it happened. Let's see what's happened since then. The majority of Republicans have uh, voted against the commission. Uh, the majority of Republicans voted against the select committee. A number of Republicans uh, have denied that it even took place, which just just boggles the mind. And obviously the majority of them voted against impeachment on the second uh, matter and the first. And um, they voted against the defense uh, the security supplemental, which the whole purpose was to protect the Capitol in our democracy. I was very happy that uh, the speaker made this choice. She followed the language of the law that allowed us to move forward on this, that she would take his input. But, you know, Mr. McCarthy doesn't want this to happen anyway, because obviously uh, he, he's probably going to have to testify. Mm-hmm. John, you may remember he had a, he had that call where he was uh, allegedly begging President Trump to uh, send help. And uh, it obviously never came. But, uh, you know, it, it won't comport with the big lie. And I think that's the number one reason they don't want to do this. They don't want the videos running again and again of uh, the guys in horns and furry hats carrying Trump signs and Confederate flags. So uh, kudos to the speaker. She did the right thing.